and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Hiba Abdul Ghafoor. His Royal Highness the Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today with the United States Secretary of the Navy Richard Spencer at the Rafah Palace. The Deputy King and the U.S. Secretary of the Navy discussed a wide range of regional and international developments, highlighting that Bahrain-U.S. military relations represent the cornerstone of bilateral relations between the two countries. The Deputy King highlighted Bahrain's long and active role promoting stability, stressing that these efforts contributed to strengthening military, political, and economic collaboration with Arab and international partners. The Deputy King praised Bahrain-U.S. collaboration and coordination at all levels and emphasized the U.S. role in maintaining regional security and stability. The Minister of Defense Affairs, Major General Abdullah al nuaimi and an accompanying delegation from the U.S. also attended the meeting. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday patronized a national poetry recitation event marking Bahrain's 47th National Day and 19th anniversary of His Majesty King Hamad's accession to the throne. Upon arrival, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed was welcomed by the Minister of Defense Affairs, Major General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Nuaimi, Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Ayman Tawfiq Al Muayyad, Muharraq Governor Salman bin Isa bin Hindi, and a number of senior government officials. His his Highness Sheikh Mohammed underscored the role of poetry continues to play as a repository of the region's rich history, culture and language, identifying it as a true reflection of the Arabian spirit. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed concluded by congratulating all those who had contributed to the success of the event and praised the youth of Bahrain for their commitment to maintaining their distinct national identity while fully participating as active global citizens. Assistant Under Secretary of Youth Centers and Commission, Dr. Sheikh Sagar bin Salman Al Khalifa, commended His Highness Sheikh Mohammed's commitment to advancing Bahrain's youth related initiatives. The President of the Halatai Al Naim Wal Salita Youth Center, Mr. Rashid Al Naimi, extended his congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day, which marks the establishment of the modern Bahrain. Rainy state as a Muslim Arab country in 1783 under the reign of Ahmad al Fatah.
The Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defense Force Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Khalifa received today the U.S. Secretary of the Navy Richard Spencer and his accompanying delegation. The meeting was attended by Defense Minister Major General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Nuaimi and BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Saqar Al Nuaimi. The BDF Commander-in-Chief welcomed the U.S. Secretary of the Navy and his accompanying delegation and reviewed with them bilateral relations of friendship and cooperation and ways of bolstering them. Mainly in the defense field. He held a lunch banquet at the BDF Office Club in honor of the U.S. delegation on the occasion of their visit to Bahrain. Present at the meeting were Defense Ministry Under Secretary Major General Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, General Command Court Director Major General Hassan Mohammed Saad, Assistant Chief of Staff for Supply and Catering Rear Admiral Yusuf Ahmed Malallah, Commander of the Royal Bahrain Air Force RBEF Air Vice Marshal Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Military Cooperation Director Rear Admiral Mohammed Hashim Al Sadah, uh, Commander of the Royal Bahrain Naval Force, uh, Commander Mohammed Yusuf Al Asam, and uh, senior officers. The meeting was also attended by the U.S. Naval Forces Central Command and Fifth Fleet Commander Vice Admiral James Malloy, the U.S. Embassy Charge d'Affaires Amy Katrona, and the U.S. Military Attaché Colonel Dave Wallen. Southern Governor His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa patronized the National Day festivities of Asa Town residents. The event marks the Kingdom's National Day celebrated on December 16th and 17th, the anniversary of its establishment as a modern Arab and Muslim state by its founder Ahmad Al Fatih in 1783, and the 19th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The governor was received by Asa Town citizens and officials. A poem was recited by Mr. Al Al Malki and was followed by a documentary on the history of Isa Town as it's the kingdom's first housing project. The event concluded with the traditional Arda performance in which the governor, residents, and guests partook. They expressed their sincere appreciation to the governor and cheering their joys as part of the kingdom's National Day celebration, wishing the kingdom perpetual progress, peace, security, and prosperity. Minister of Education Majid bin Ali Al Nuaimi launched the first phase of the ministry's program for teaching slow learners in 35 schools. Al Nuaimi also launched the second phase of the smart learning program for students with learning disabilities, which increases the number of schools that offer such accommodations to 64 across the kingdom. Al Nuaimi affirmed that the launch of the new programs reinforced Bahrain's status as a leading nation in offering education services to all students, including those with learning 
learning difficulties. The program represents efforts to implement the instructions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of improving students' results by offering them inclusive education services. In this regard, the minister referred to the successful results that have been achieved in 81 inclusion schools and the academic excellence of 115 students with autism who have graduated their special classes to regular ones. During the event, the minister examined the educational services at inclusion schools and the positive impact of the ministry's digital education services. The minister then examined the implementation of an agricultural project entitled The Fruits of Giving, through which students with learning disabilities and those with Down syndrome are taught agricultural skills. The minister also crowned the winner of a football tournament for students with special needs at the secondary schools level. Labor and Social Development Minister Jamil Ali Humaydan opened today in the ministry's premises the second employment exhibition for labor with special needs. In the presence of a number of members of the House of Representatives, the Governor of the Northern Governorate, Ali bin Abdul Hussein Al Asfour, as well as representatives of civil and professional associations and a number of officials. More in this report. Stressing the continued efforts to increase the integration of job seekers with disabilities into various productive sectors in the labor market, a two-day employment exhibition starts today to enable them to obtain decent jobs and provide them with the necessary professional skills to prove that they're capable of excellence, creativity and productivity. The people looking for a job are only 179. So we have more jobs in offer than the people looking for jobs. 300 job opportunities are offered by 34 private sector entities after being reviewed and evaluated in proportion to the skills and potential of job seekers with special needs by the ministry. Moreover, the recruitment process will be followed up to complete the procedures and requirements of the employee's integration. It is very good, the job offers, and they have many job offers, so you can apply with for the thing that you feel that you are interested in it. On the sidelines of the expo, a deal was signed with a Saudi import and export company hiring 55 Bahrainis. We could uh, recruit uh, almost uh, around 55 Bahrainis. Uh, and uh, we have uh, a plan actually to recruit more, uh, another 150, so the total will be uh, 200 uh, in our four branches. And now the private sector is 65% uh, of the total employment in Bahrain. He, the private sector take the lead uh, for the employment and uh, most of the opportunity or job opportunity is in the private sector now because of the investment uh, activities in Bahrain. In this context, 490 citizens with disabilities have been employed during the last three years, which reflects the keenness of the ministry to improve conditions, work environment, and adequate wages for labor with special needs and enable them to be influential and add value to Bahrain's development march. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to distribute 5,000 housing units during the recent government forum, the Housing Minister Basim bin Yaqub Al Hamar announced the start of Al Ramli's social housing project units distribution to beneficiaries, which falls within the timetable created by the Ministry to implement the directives of His Royal Highness, which contains 5,000 housing units in 10 housing projects. The Minister asserted that the ministry is dedicated to carry out the directives of the Crown Prince according to the timetable and to speed up the process of distribution in order to distribute more units in the future.